In this video, we are going to learn how to solve three variable systems by substitution. So looking at this three variable system, I see that x doesn't have any coefficient in front of it, which means this might be a perfect time to use substitution. So by subtracting 5y, I can find out that x is equal to 9 minus 5y. I can use that to substitute into the other two variables. Now again, if I were to label these 1, 2, and 3, I use the second equation, so I must substitute into the first and third equation for this next step. It's very important that you don't use the same one. So now I'll plug in 9 minus 5y into the first equation, I get 2 times 9 minus 5y plus 3y minus 2z equals negative 1. And plug it into my third equation, I get 4z minus 5 times 9 minus 5y. So now, distributing the 2, I get 18 minus 10y plus 3y minus 2z is equal to negative 1. And I can subtract 18 if me negative 19 on the right, I'll get negative 7y minus 2z. Here I can distribute the negative 5, and I'll get 4z minus 45 plus 25y is equal to 4. I can then add 45 to the right side and I'll get 4 z or 25 y plus 4 z is equal to 49. Now I can take both of these equations, I call them equations 4 and equations 5 and make my own system with them. So negative 7 y minus 2 z equals negative 19 and 25y plus 4z is equal to 49. Now here, it doesn't make sense to continue using substitution since any one of these variables, if I were to solve for them, would yield some sort of like fraction or make the math more difficult than it needs to be, since we have elimination as a choice for us to solve a system. So what I'm gonna do is take the fourth equation here, multiply by two, so I can get negative four z, and I'll cancel out with the positive four z to eliminate the z variable. So equation four times two, keep five the same. So I'll get negative 14 y minus four z equals negative 38. And equation 5 will just be 25y plus 4z equals 49. Adding these together, I'll get 11y equals 11, which tells me that y must equal 1. Now going back, I can plug this into either one of the original equations, or in either, into either equation 4 or equation 5. So I'll take negative 7y minus 2z equals negative 19, plug 1 in for y, and solve, giving me negative 7. I can add that to the right, so I'll have negative 2z is equal to negative 12, so z is equal to 6. So I now know that y is 1, z is 6, and for the last step, just pick one of the original equations to solve for x. So I'm going to use the second equation, which is x plus 5y equals 9. y is 1, so x plus 5 times 1 is equal to 9. So x must equal 4 when I subtract 5. And my final solution will be 4, 1, 6. And if you would like to check this, you can plug it into the three original equations just to see that they're all true. Now let's try another example with substitution, and this time you'll have a choice of any of the variables to use. I'm going to use x from the first equation to solve for. So I'll take the first equation, x minus 2y 
plus z equals negative 4. I'll add 2y and subtract z. So I'll have x is equal to 2y minus z minus 4. And now that I have what x is equal to, I'll look at equations 2 and 3 and substitute that into them. So equation 2 is negative 4x plus y minus 2z. So now it's going to become negative 4 times 2y minus z minus 4 plus y minus 2z. I can distribute that negative 4, giving me negative 8y plus 4z plus 16 plus y minus 2z equals 1. So here I can subtract 16 giving me negative 15 on the right, negative 8y plus y is negative 7y, and 4z minus 2z is plus 2z. And this will be equation 4. I can do the same thing with equation 3 by substituting in what x is now equal to. And equation 3 is 2x plus 2y minus z is equal to 10. Now it's going to be 2 times 2y minus z minus 4. Again, using that same x as I did earlier. Plus 2y minus z is equal to 10. Distribute the 2, I get 4y minus 2z minus 8 plus 2y minus z is equal to 10. I can add 8 to the right side of my equation. 4y plus 2y is 6y. And negative 2z minus z is negative 3z. And as I realized here, I didn't put that 1. That is 18. And this will be equation 5. Now I'll make up my new system, just like I did earlier, with my two new equations negative 7y plus 2z is equal to negative 15 and 6y minus 3z is equal to 18. Now I see here that every one of these terms is a multiple of 3 so I can actually divide everything by 3 and create an equivalent system negative 7y plus 2z is equal to negative 15 and now I have 2y minus z is equal to 6 when I divide everything by 3. Now this sets me up for actually for a really nice and simple substitution for the second step. So now I can use substitution to finish solving this by solving the fifth equation for z. I'll get that z is equal to 2y minus 6. Now I can take equation 4. It's just negative 7y plus 2z. And substitute in 2y minus 6. So I'll get negative 7y plus 2 times 2y minus 6 is equal to negative 15. Distribute the 2 and we'll get negative 7y plus 4y minus 12 is equal to negative 15. Negative 7y plus 4y is negative 3y is equal to add 12, negative 3. So y is equal to 1. Plug this 1 into the z is equal to 2y minus 6 equation. And I'll get that z is equal to 2 times 1 minus 6, which means z is equal to negative 4. And then now I can go back even further and plug in x and y and z into this x equation to figure out what x is equal to, which will be 2 times 1 minus negative 4 minus 4. So that's x is equal to 2 plus 4 minus 4. So x is equal to 2. And now I can see that my solution is 
2 comma 1 comma negative 4. And that is how you solve three variable systems by substitution.